because I feel like I'm gonna be judged for it. Please don't judge me. It's embarrassing to show you. Nakakahiya siya actually, but... Okay, hi everyone, this is Thought TV and we will be talking about my ADHD. Um, I have in my bio, in my TikTok bio, um, diagnosed with ADHD and I feel like it sparked curiosity um, in some of you guys. So you keep asking questions about it and you've been requesting na I make a video about it. When was I diagnosed? I was diagnosed, I think last year or late last year. I thought to myself that... Uh, this is getting out of hand. All of my symptoms, I feel like I've been feeling it a little bit more during quarantine. I was not able before to sit down with myself and analyze all of these symptoms that I have. I always just brushed it off and thought that I am this or I am that, but not really considering it as something about my mental health. What are the symptoms that I have been feeling and what actually pushed me to uh, consult a psychiatrist is yung mga symptoms ko na <laughs> ng Tagalog. <laughs> yung mga symptoms ko that, that, that I've always had ever since baby pa lang ako. So my parents told me that I couldn't really sleep earlier than 12 midnight. I would always usually sleep 12 midnight until I don't know, 5 a.m. That's around the time that I get my mind to shut down. Yun daw yung oras na tumitigil ako umiyak. I don't know. But yeah, I, I would always sleep super late at night and hindi ko na siya na-brush off sa system ko. Even if I have early call times the next day or work or class or something the next day, I would just really sleep super late pa rin. So that's something that I've always struggled with. And the reason behind it is um, my mind would just have all of these different characters in it. I know I'm not trying to sound special or that I have these extra powers and something like that, but I'm trying to be as genuine as possible with this conversation. My mind would always have these characters and it would be creating worlds and fantasies and I would constantly daydream. Uh, and I know that sounds normal. Um, a lot of you would say na Lahat naman ganun mag or lahat naman nag daydream But I think the main difference is the biggest difference between normal people without ADHD and people with ADHD is how often it happens. Um, mine, my mind would always, almost always never be present. It would always be somewhere else. I will constantly be focusing on something else and that is the reason why I can't focus in the now, in the present. Unless I am completely hyper fixated in something. That's that's one more thing that I'm going to talk to you later about. It's about your hobbies and skills and all that. So keep on watching. I'll talk about that. Blah. Another problem or some symptom that I would have is I was constantly messy. I was just told na I was lazy or... I don't know, burara. I've heard all of those things before, and apparently, apparently, it is a symptom. The it's because our minds are just constantly running and running that we don't really have time to analyze all of the little details because it's mostly just. I don't know, I'm not really a psychiatrist or I can't really scientifically explain it, but I'm just telling you how it is for me. I'm not speaking for everyone who has ADHD, but let me know if you can relate. Um, sa akin kasi, I would, for example, right now, I'm gonna show you. It's embarrassing to show you, nakakahiya siya actually, but here, here is the mess of my room. Yeah, yan yung... <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to be really raw and unfiltered with you guys. Hindi siya normal. And even my closet. Okay. I am embarrassed to show, these, show this to you guys. I feel like I'm gonna be judged for it. Please don't judge me. <laughs> but just... So you get to know me. Here is my closet. It's a pile of clothes. And the thing is literal mess pile. Nothing, wait, I redeem my sarili bit. Um, the thing is, my mom would help me out. She would clean my room once a week, so I have the chance to actually um, 
come home to a room na clean and organized. So I super appreciate my mom for that. But if it was just me, it's something that I'm really going to struggle with. But here's the thing. When I hyperfixate on organization or or organizing things, like nagkaroon ako ng um spark joy fade. Uh spark joy. Fade. Did I did have a Marie Kondo face and I would usually have faces like that where I am now super obsessed with cleaning and organizing. Get faces like that na bibili ako ng mga so many things just to organize my room, change the decorations and make sure that everything is clean and all that. So, there are moments like that. But it's not perpetual. It's not something that's permanent. My toxic trait is telling myself that I will be consistent with something like that. But I just can't be consistent with something like that. So that is a problem. I am not saying this as an excuse. This does not, our ADHD does not excuse being messy. If you live with people and it drives them crazy, you got to figure out how to to keep it nice and tidy. <laughs> but in my case, it's just my room, so mostly ako lang din naman yung affected. But it does stress my parents out. <laughs> so, another thing is, wait, was I? Did I talk about? Did I talk about? I forgot. Uh, okay. Which brick? Okay. D d d d I just remembered something, which brings me to my next issue. It's my be, me being forgetful. Super forgetful. As in, I... <laughs> shorter memory? Almost non-existent. As in, I would constantly forget. The most common thing that I would, for, I would forget, my phone, keys, my petroleum jelly. I would always bring my petroleum jelly because my lips, I always want them to be moisturized. And I would forget the things that I would actually need. Even as a kid, I always remember my mom having to commute to school because I would forget projects. I would forget assignments. And even as a working adult, my mom would so, no hindi pa uso yung grab and dala move nun, oh my goodness, she would actually commute and bring me exactly the thing that I need. And I would get in trouble for it and just so thankful that na, na she was really patient with me. And even my dad, um, when we go out, he would constantly turn around because we were in the middle of the destination, papunta do sa destination. And I would say, oh, I forgot something that's really important. So he has to turn around and do it. That is apparently a sign of ADHD. Like, and the reason behind that is our minds are just... Imagine this. Imagine... Your mind is a carnival. I mean, people with ADHD, your mind is a carnival. And there are so many things na going on. So, my Ferris wheel dito, and my roller coaster dito, and my, I don't know, trip to Jerusalem dito. <laughs> trip to Jerusalem. And all of these different things that's going on, all of this, all at the same time. And whenever something catches your attention, like for example, people are screaming dito sa Ferris wheel side of your mind, you would put your attention there. And then yung, yung roller coaster side, they're all screaming there also. And there's something that's fun to look at here and all that. So it's just overwhelming. And it almost never really stops. Okay, it's just constantly like that. So that's one problem. Um, it's really hard for me to focus. Now, here's the alternative. Here's the other side of that. People with ADHD would either be not be, will either not be able to focus or would hyperfixate on something. As in hyperfixate. Let me tell you, when I obsess with when I obsess with something, I would almost never sleep or eat, and I'm just focused on that one thing. For weeks, for months, I would just be focused on that thing. Um, and that is also the reason why people with ADHD tend to have lots of hobbies. I, let me list down all the stuff that I do, but I'm not really an expert at, but I know how to do. I play the ukulele, I play the piano, I play the drums, I play the guitar, um, I paint, as in physical painting. Let me explain that. I'm not nagmamayabang or anything. There's an explanation for this. 
um, I do physical painting, I do digital art, I sing, I'm not a good dancer, theater, uh, I would DIY my whole room. What uh, what other stuff? Here's my ukulele. I just show you pala kanina. Um, I edit videos also, mostly creative stuff. Okay, so I do lots of those things, and I have immersed myself in those things for different periods of my life. Because here's the thing, people with ADHD tend to seek out dopamine. So anything that would give them dopamine, that would just heighten their senses and make them feel excited, they would seek it out. I did violin pala also, and clarinet, and flute. Um, yeah. So, I would constantly look for new things to work on. So, that way, natututo ako ng mga different bagays, bagays, ng mga different things. Um, which is nice. I mean, you know, I, do, knowing how to do a lot of things is actually pretty cool. But, I'm not an expert in any of it. I mean, unless I sing, I, and I really love singing, and I can say that I am good at it because it's something that I am proud of. Very subjective if people like my voice or whatever, but I can say that I like singing. So it, stuff like that, yes, I'm good at some of those things because of how long I've been doing it. But as for the rest of my skills, I'm not an expert in anything. Um, but... So that, that's all of the, I don't know if we call that a negative, but the challenges of having ADHD. But here's the good part about it, the good thing about it. I kind of was able to learn lots of things and to explore lots of things. And my creativity is, yayabangan ko na ha, my creativity is top notch. That is something that I am proud of. Do I love math? Do I love science? No, I'm not good at any of those things, but creativity girl proud of my creativity i take pride in it um but so many things i suck at i am not good at dancing i'm not good at math and science and remembering historical facts i'm not good at geography and stuff like that so i don't know balanced naman siya but at least i was able to be good at something na I can be proud of, even if <laughs> the rest of my brain is just blah. So yeah, so that's also probably the reason why I enjoy making TikTok videos and enjoy watching TikTok videos, creating all these different new things because of the dopamine seeking element of myself. Another thing, let's go back to the negative. I having ADHD. It also um ma umbrella mo din yung negative things like having anxiety. I was also diagnosed with anxiety alongside my ADHD. So it's an umbrella. I also have OCD. I mentioned that I was messy, but there's a difference between being messy and being clean. I am extremely clean with uh, my my stuff. I, I can't leave the house without alcohol and it got worse during the pandemic. Um, as in, ang lala, no pagiging OCD ko and just Germ, pagiging germaphobe ko. That's something that's super. Uh, I have to work on, but malalasha for me. As in any 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 time that I touch something, even after doing this video, I'm gonna put on alcohol, even if I'm just at home. So gan siya ka lalay. Excuse me. Excuse me. So what is my conclusion? Um, it's something that I am trying to manage. Having all of, having ADHD does not permit you to use it as an excuse. Rather, it is an explanation. Um, my advice for people who have the same symptoms that I just mentioned, gauge mo muna. I know na when I say these things, and dami agad nagsasabi na, oh my gosh, I'm ADHD too. I feel those things. Oh my gosh, feeling ko may ADHD ako. But the difference is, you can have ADHD symptoms. You just have to gauge kung gano siya ka evident kung gano siya ka extreme everyone has ADHD symptoms but it has to for it to be considered ADHD it has to come to a point where it's somehow detrimental already with your lifestyle or it's not good anymore so 
I do suggest that if you are feeling these things that I just told you about and it does bother you and you know that it's messing you up, seek help. Please seek help. Um, and if you live with your parents, try to make them understand. Uh, prioritize your mental health. It's gonna help you understand yourself. And that way, mas mama manage nyo yung traits or habits that you want to break and start. I really hope na you got to know me a little bit better and you maybe got to know yourself after hearing this video and watching this video. So, until our... Uh, wait, where's my drink? Until our next video, thanks so much for watching. Cheers! Bye for now!